The thing that I think, um, Alex, is going to be at least more of a concern for people to have it is the hissing effect. Um, basically, it's, it's a, a coil wine where the new A10 processor, which is a beast, it is a beast of a processor. It is so fast. Uh, on some people's phones, it's creating a higher pitched noise. I tried a ton of devices. I, I did. I listened to iPads, to MacBooks to home electronics devices, to stereos, you can hear the same bass noise on almost any of them when they're under load. But for some people, for some reason, whether it's the waterproof coating or just the components are, are in the wrong position on their unit, they hear it re really loudly. And I wonder if post Samsung climate, we're all a little bit very, we're all a little bit sensitive to this. I, you know, I, I don't know. I think I'd like to hear it. I haven't heard any of this so far. And I now have, I don't have a seven. I'm, traditionally, I'm always, somewhere where I can't order when it first goes off and then I have to wait two or three months to get my phone. So, so I, I'm not going to have a seven anytime soon. So, um, but, uh, but with any device, I haven't heard any of this and I haven't heard recordings of people who have said that they've heard this. And I'm, I'm kind of curious how loud it really is. I mean, there's definitely a lot of things that drive us all crazy. Uh, and I'm sure that, that it's there, but the question is like, once you put it inside of a case, which you should always do, it's only when it's under load, like restoring, or when 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 the processor is really firing on heavy and the room is is quiet, you'll hear that sound. And I haven't, I've never heard that ever. But and I'm usually pretty sensitive to sound, but maybe it's just that I'm always in a loud environment when I'm pushing my phone. So, uh, so I, you know, I, I don't know for sure, but I, you know, so I, I think that um, it's probably something that is a, you know, maybe there. There's a phone, you know, the phones have some registration issues. Um, there's probably a handful, you know, some, when we say a handful, it's probably, you know, a very small percentage could be 10,000 people or 15,000 people that have hissing. Um, but I, I think that it's probably some kind of small registration issue uh, with some of these, um, which is why. Yeah. I think I always benefit from the fact that I missed the first round. <laughs> yeah, that's, 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 all a bunch of stuff. You know, like I always, I always like, I always think I'm going to do it that night and then I never do. And then, I, then it's like, not now it's not until November, and I'm just like, ah, I'll just wait until it's in the store. And yeah, that, that, that's a real that's a really good point. That uh, they te of course they test these things thoroughly, but it's not until they put millions of devices in the hands of millions of people, people who have different <laughs> different levels of hearing, uh, and also in different environments that you're going to figure out what the defects are, what the what the bumps might be in the manufacturing process. So if you wait for there can be a, a hardware revision that's does nothing more than improves the uh, Im improves the return rate so that you have fewer defective devices uh, and just makes things a little bit simpler to build. And that's also a good time to mention the general advice. Anytime that you buy a brand new Apple device, meaning it's uh, not just new to you, but this is a they've just released it. If there's anything anything you don't like about it, do not hesitate to go back to the Apple store with it because this is a time for the first two or three weeks where they are hyper, hyper, hyper vigilant about anything that it might be wrong with this device. So if you dropped it and the screen shattered and you thought that, wow, it's like I've dropped it on this car, I've dropped my old phone on this carpet a couple times without any problems, why did this one break? You're not necessarily screwed because the, each store might have sort of a, a bounty where uh, the the mothership has said we want you to try to capture if you, we we're, we're going to allow you to capture as many as uh, X devices with broken screens, X devices that have connectivity problems with the with the cellular, X devices that have connectivity problems with Wi-Fi, uh, things that have uh, unusual dings. If someone's making something's making a buzzing noises, these are the situations where you take it back. You don't wind up having a long conversation uh, with the uh, with the uh, the genius. The genius does not have a long conversation with their manager. They immediately bring out a black coffin. This is referred to as the capture. They they actually will capture the they they call it capturing the phone. It will be sent directly back to the mothership. You will be given a brand new phone, maybe, uh, and like no questions asked. Just to okay, we're awesome. We're just going to solve this problem for you immediately. And it's not maybe not something that they would do for people a month later or two months later. This is the time where Apple wants to know what is how are these things performing in the real world. And the only way they can figure that out is to capture devices that are causing problems and then dissect it down to the molecular level and see what was different about this one that seemed to be different from the reference products that we have certified as uh, being built and operating as they should. And not to well, be, and not to be is, the curmudgeon, but, but I, I find that, that, I mean, while a lot of us get excited, uh, that thinking of the release date as three months out from the release date really... <laughs> 
makes your life lowers your anxiety level. Saying. They're 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 going to make more than eighty of them. You you're kind of okay if you're going to wait. They'll <laughs> they'll they'll make. They're going to you'll, you'll you'll get one eventually, and and the second it will be a, a dot two version. You know, like there'll be a couple like. Yeah. Oh, right. So, so, you know, you know, so my uh, thing with all of I mean, this the is just that it's, uh, it's launch weekend, so every outlet worth their viewers is looking for a hot Apple story, and we saw this on NBC. It showed up on NBC yesterday, and we're living in a climate where there literally are phones that are burning, so people are super sensitive about it. This is a processor, has nothing to do with the battery. Uh, it's a, it's a well-known electrical phenomenon. I talked to some engineers about it, and a bunch of engineers contacted me in the comments and Twitter, and it can be annoying, and if it does annoy you, absolutely. If it's loud enough to annoy you, take it back, uh, but you don't have anything to worry about.